Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays, outside the Pilates studio, where we take our Pilates brain and body out into the real world. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about easy sitting in the car. So I have a few ideas for us. I use um, all of these three options all the time. I'll let you know what my favorite is in a moment. Um, first, a really easy one to do is to use the Smart Spine Cervical Disc. So this is really easy and it's especially great if you warm it up in the microwave before you get in the car, especially on those cold mornings, and have your um, seat heaters on if you have that and then it'll keep it warm. So I'm gonna step out for a moment. I'm gonna show you how I like to arrange this cervical disc. All right, so you put it on the seat Right, so this is like your little donut. And this, especially when it's, taut, when it's hot, talks to those radial muscles, the gentle hugging muscles of your pelvic floor. So you sit right in the center here with your two sitting bones in the divot. And again, especially if it's hot, it's really nice. And then you wanna make sure that your sternum is over your pubic bone. If this feels like too much effort, when you're driving, you'll get your squishy ball. Mine's not um, filled up quite enough for this, but I would fill it up a little bit more. So I have a little bit of feedback there on my mid back as I drive. And I'm sure I'm not going away from it or leaning too much into it. All right, second option. So you know how much we love the um, green spiky balls. So. I have many, many green spiky balls that have just gone flat. And so we always recycle them. So we have these two half spiky balls. So again, I'm gonna step out. So you're gonna have one half spiky ball for each glute cheek. All right, so you have to get those under, right where you want them. And then the bigger spiky balls, I like to put like right on my kidney space there and making sure, right, that my sternum stays over my pubic bone as I drive. And then I have that, just that gentle feedback of my lower back on those spiky balls. And I'm not sinking too far into them or going away from them. And it's really nice, especially for the leg um, of the, the foot on the gas pedal, because a lot of times, especially if you drive a lot, this right leg and foot gets really, really constricted and tight, especially in the front of the hip. So this half spiky ball is continually, continually reminding me to drop that heavy right sitting bone down into it. So I'm not gripping and lifting and closing off the front of my hip. All right, the last one, and this lately has become sort of my favorite one. So you take two tennis balls, you wrap it with athletic tape. So you have a double tennis ball here. And you also need your squishy ball. So this guy is gonna be right at the back of my pelvic floor. So my tail is gonna kind of hang in the center here. This is gonna help to widen my sitting bones and also widen that space around my um, tailbone. I really love this one. So I'm finding my little perch here, <laughs> just the right position, and then putting the squishy ball right there at my mid back. Now, what's so brilliant about this is that, of course, it's doing all that opening on the back of my pelvic floor. I'm right on the center of my spine, have a little feedback here on my rib cage. Now, and this, be careful with this. So when you're driving, right, you can also roll the balls under you just a little bit. So you can go into a little flexion and then into a little extension. So cueing this roll of your pelvis forward and back so that your lumbar spine doesn't get too stiff as you're driving. It's wonderful. And then you can also cue bringing one side of your pelvis over the right side of the ball back to center and then over the left side of the ball. So you can rock your pelvis also side to side. And then if you get really, really good at it, then you do a full circling of the pelvis. You might wanna leave this full circling of the pelvis um, for when you're at a stop light. 
And then you, of course, reverse. It's such, such a nice way to do this. And then when you're at home or when you're at your destination and you can take all of this out, magnificent. Feels beautiful. Thanks for joining us. We'd love to hear from you. Please comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on our forum.